You may already be aware that HDMI 2.1 exists, but did you know there is also HDMI 2.1a and 2.1b? HDMI 2.1 technology enables a lot of capabilities for TVs and other devices, but it's the product manufacturers who decide which features to implement. This may cause some confusion for many consumers, so let's put your mind at ease and explain what it all means. I'm Elon Osborne, and this is Acoustically Speaking. Did you know that HDMI has been around now for almost 20 years? Most consumers probably don't even know how many times it has changed and how it even works with the technology in their homes. HDMI 2.1 is a rather significant upgrade compared to HDMI 2.0, and we think it requires a more detailed explanation. HDMI stands for High Definition Multimedia Interface and was developed as a secure method of transferring both digital video and digital audio through a single cable. It was also designed to be upgradable to meet changing needs. HDMI standards are developed and enforced by the HDMI Licensing Organization and HDMI Forum. For security, HDMI incorporates HDCP, or High Bandwidth Digital Content Protection, which prevents unauthorized copying of video content. This results in a feature of HDMI that is referred to as the handshake. Both an HDMI source and connected display need to recognize each other via the HDCP signal or nothing will be displayed on screen. However, even if both the source and the display incorporate HDCP, sometimes there can be glitches that may block communication. Here is a brief summary of HDMI versions from 2002 to 2015. Version 1.0 Video resolution up to 1080p and two-channel PCM audio, CEC included. Version 1.1, Dolby Digital, DTS, DVD audio, and up to 7.1 channel PCM audio added. Version 1.2, SACD or Super Audio CD compatibility added for your multi-channel music fans. Version 1.3, expanded color gamut, faster transfer rates of 10.2 gigabits per second, compatibility with Dolby Digital Plus and Dolby True HD, and DTS HD Master Audio. Auto lip sync was implemented. In addition, a mini HDMI connector was introduced for mobile applications. Version 1.4, 4K 30Hz, 3D, ARC, or audio return channel, HDMI Ethernet channel were introduced. And a micro connector was introduced for broader mobile applications. HDMI 2.0, 4K resolution at 50 or 60 hertz, 18 gigabits per second transfer rate, up to 32 channels of audio for Dolby Atmos, DTSX, and RO3D audio support, dual video streams for viewing on the same screen, and up to four audio streams. HDR or high dynamic range capability added in versions HDMI 2.0, a and 2.0 B. Introduced in 2017, HDMI 2.1 builds on the previous versions by adding the following capabilities. 4K, 5K, 8K, and even up to 10K resolution support for frame rates up to 100 or 120 frames per second depending on your region. Wide color gamut, BT2020, at 10, 12, and 16 bits with D65 white point. While HDMI 2.0 is compatible with current HDR formats like HDR10, HDR10+, Dolby Vision, and HLG, HDMI 2.1 expands open support for any additional dynamic HDR formats that may become available down the road. Variable refresh rate and auto low latency mode added to support next gen gaming needs. This feature borrows from the variable refresh rate feature to eliminate the blackout period when switching HDMI sources on a TV or monitor. Many times when switching between sources, the TV or monitor may display a black frame. What quick media switching does is eliminate that black frame so you see one image from the new source without a delay even if the frame rate of each source is different. However, it must be noted that the black frame elimination only works if both sources are providing the same input resolution, because if not, you may still see that black frame. This feature reduces latency for gaming and real-time interactive virtual reality sources. This shortens the time when you press a game controller button and when that function is displayed on screen. This feature allows the transfer of resolutions higher than 8K with refresh rates up to 60 or 120 Hz 
hertz with refresh rates of 60 or 120 hertz using Visa DSC. Visa DSC also supports higher resolution and frame rate compatibility for HDMI cables that are limited to pre-HDMI 2.1 resolution and transfer rates. HDMI 2.1 adds eARC, which is an audio return channel upgrade. eARC is compatible with Dolby Digital Plus, Dolby True HD, Dolby Atmos, DTS HD High Resolution Audio, DTS HD Master Audio, and DTS-X. Bandwidth and signal transfer speed compatibility increased to 48 gigabits per second. To access the larger bandwidth and transfer speed, you also need to connect your devices via ultra high speed HDMI cables. Wow, I know that was a lot of information to take in just now, so here's a quick chart to recap all the features I just mentioned. In 2021, HDMI version 2.1a was announced that adds source-based tone mapping. This HDR feature allows a portion of the HDR mapping to be performed by the source device in addition to tone mapping done by the compatible TV or monitor. Just as HDMI allows source devices to detect the resolution of a TV, source-based tone mapping enables the source device to detect the TV or display device's HDR capabilities. For example, an HDR TV or monitor might be able to display as much as 1000 nits of light, but others may only have a light output of a maximum of 600 or 700 nits. To account for this variance, tone mapping is used. Most HDR TVs have tone mapping capabilities, but it may not be that precise. What source-based tone mapping does is assist further by enabling the source device, such as UHD Blu-ray player or media streamer, to detect what the TV or monitor HDR capabilities are and making automatic adjustments that map the HDR range of the content source to that of the TV or monitor. Source-based tone mapping also takes into account the differences between SDR and HDR source content so that a consistent look is provided. This benefits the viewer by limiting the need to make additional manual HDR adjustments. This is especially convenient for gaming needs. This update was introduced in August of 2023 as a refinement for some of the existing features of HDMI 2.1 and 2.1a, such as source-based tone mapping and quick media switching. Other refinements are behind the scenes and may not be obvious to most users. HDMI licensing and the HDMI forum refer to it as providing a general cleanup. Since the introduction of HDMI 2.1, implementation issues have resulted in some components being referred to as having fake HDMI 2.1. What this means is that a monitor, TV, or another component that is labeled as being HDMI 2.1 enabled doesn't necessarily have to include all possible HDMI 2.1 features. This also applies to the source-based tone mapping feature added in HDMI 2.1a. Implementation of it is optional. The problem is that although HDMI 2.1 supports all of the capabilities discussed a few minutes ago, how it is implemented is at the discretion of the product manufacturer. To look at this another way, HDMI 2.1 provides a menu of options, but not all options have to be made available to the consumer for the product to be labeled as being HDMI 2.1. This can make things very confusing when using HDMI. For example, a TV that only implements eARC can be labeled as supporting HDMI 2.1 even though it doesn't support any other HDMI 2.1 capabilities. The reason for this is that HDMI 2.1 is required to access eARC. Also, TVs and monitors don't have to include all of the gaming features offered by HDMI 2.1 if the TV is not promoted as a gaming TV. In addition, if the TV is a 4K UHD TV, it doesn't have to include HDMI 2.1 capabilities required for 8K TVs. This situation has resulted in additional confusion as to when a device is HDMI 2.0 or HDMI 2.1 compliant. Unfortunately, although the HDMI forum encourages TV and other device makers to list which HDMI 2.1 features are enabled, in the end it is not required, leaving it up to the consumer to figure it out. 
This means that when shopping for TV, monitor, or other devices, if you are looking for specific HDMI features, check any available product labeling or specifications that are available online or at your local dealer. In addition, make sure you purchase the HDMI cable that will meet your needs. HDMI licensing provides a guide, just so you know. However, when in doubt, buying an ultra high speed cable is the best insurance policy. HDMI is backward compatible. This means that if your TV is only compliant with an older version of HDMI, for example, you have an HDMI 1.3 compatible TV, but your source device includes HDMI 2.1 features, you can still use your TV with that source device. You just won't be able to access any of the additional HDMI 2.1 features that may be available. Also, make sure you check all the TV's features and compatibilities beyond HDMI 2.1 before reaching into your wallet. And there you have it, folks. Are you more educated now regarding good old HDMI 2.1? Will you be able to take that knowledge with you to your next home theater-centric trivia night? If so, you're welcome. And with that, to keep up on all things HDMI, home theater, home audio, hi-fi, wearables, gadgets, and tech, be sure to bookmark eacoustics.com. Until next time. Thank you